Finally, a game that's on my level. We need to make this unhappy cup very happy. We do that by drawing a line. Then once we lift our finger, the fluid starts flowing and does what it does. Looks like we filled up the cup and we got 86%, which is good enough for three stars. So the less ink we use, the better our score is. On something like this, we could obviously try and span the gap. My line might slide away or it might actually work perfectly. And we only use 10% of our ink. I suspect the levels will get a little bit harder than that, but for now I did get a yellow bottle. I'm not sure what's in it. I really don't care. So let's just see what this level does without me doing anything. So it dribbles water straight down. So we basically need the fluid to kind of go like that. We're going to catch a little bit of it in behind, but I think we're going to get more than enough inside because you really don't need a lot to make him happy. So that's another three stars for us, and three stars is definitely the minimum for what we want every level. So on this one, the water just flows straight down. We got the line inside of him. Does that count? If I had something a little more delicate, I could, whoops, probably do this a little better because I just want to do one of those. Actually, now that I look at it, you could probably just do that even. The water will flow up enough. I don't know if it's going to make it all the way over to him or not, but that's actually kind of a fun idea. So something like that will probably actually work because you really don't need that much fluid he's getting happier and happier we did it i like how the trumpets come out his ears so this level is going to be the fluid coming down from one angle to the next angle i think i might have a more fun idea though if we can kind of get that to stay something like that yeah there we go we can just avoid the whole obstacle course altogether, and we're going to get like 100 percent fluid in this he's even overflowing and i can of course draw after the water starts but i think i get somewhat penalized for that but if i'm really clever i might be able to do something like that and that might actually work. And then the waters take a very short distance from one to the next. That was 81%. So we're still doing pretty good considering I'm not taking this all that seriously. This one seems like it's going to be quite easy to do because I'm pretty sure the fluid is just going to have to not be around the balls. Even then, this might actually just work. Yeah, this level is not for, uh, particularly hard. I'm pretty sure even going like that will uh, have enough space left out that it's going to flow into him with enough. Okay, fine. I want a slightly bigger ball. I'm just trying to do this by using as a little line as possible. This time we've used 7% of what we can and it's more than enough. I wanted to try that again because, yeah, I'm pretty sure I've used 2% of my ink and still won that. Just with a simple little line. That would be a fun goal. Try and do all the levels with over 95% left. Gonna be a little bit harder on a level like this, but might actually kind of be able to... Depends on how much ink it gives us altogether. Oh, I actually went too far with that. Did I? I might have. 87% of the ink though, so I mean, we made that one look pretty easy. Pretty sure we could do with considerably less. There we go. We've only used 10% and that's working out really, really well. I like how it gives us hints. <laughs> it can give us hints. Yeah, okay, so the hint looks like that. We're drawing a little shape right there, but let's just see what the water does before we get carried away because this one's really going to be easy. Uh, in fact, I don't think we have to do anything at all. Yeah, we literally used 1% of our ink doing a test. That was kind of a waste of a hint. But that's another easy three stars in the bag. Do we have to fill both of them up or what? Do we just go like that and... Yeah, actually, that's probably going to divide it about halfway evenly. They're both very happy and we're done. We used 4% of our ink. This time we need to keep him alive because if we don't, he tumbles to his death. There's probably some fun ways to do this, but overall it's pretty simple. We need to draw a line like that. That is, did use up 12% of our ink already. But that kind of makes me wonder if we can just do a little prop there. That might not work. Well, it actually kind of does work. He doesn't quite write himself. Well, all you have to do is go like that. It literally tells you how to do this one because it's super easy. Okay, this one's kind of similar to the last one because he falls and dies. But that makes me wonder if we just make him fall to the other side. Um, that also doesn't work. But can he be happy lying on his side? Because if we go something like that and then knock him over with that, that didn't work. Now he's getting his bottom wet and he's sliding to his death. I mean, in theory, it wouldn't take much to get him to balance there. He's just kind of a bouncy idiot. Eventually, we'll get something there that will actually just make him sit there nicely. Whoops. Well, that actually might be it. Yep, the accidental drawing work. We use 3% of our ink. This one could be interesting because I'm pretty sure the game wants you to draw a line on his base to support him. What if we kind of go... Well, that somehow worked. Yeah, I didn't realize the gaps on these things. So if you just draw a little wedge in there somewhere, he'll actually get himself wedged. So you could actually do this with a very very little ink. Anyways, if I get too carried away doing stupid things, I am never going to finish this. So in this one, he falls over and dies. I wonder if we could just kind of fuel him up while he's lying on his side. Yeah, we probably could, but then he still falls. The hardest part about this is kind of just how bouncy he is. Every time he lands on a line, he bounces horribly. I mean, the obvious, obvious solution is to just draw a very straight line. 
and hopefully he doesn't bounce. Maybe a nice low line like that. Yep, there we go. Only used 4% of our ink. He's very happy and full of yellow goo. Okay, this one I'm pretty sure he just falls. So we need to stop him from falling to his death. So we're going to draw a very squiggly line and maybe one of those. Didn't quite hook it around. It's hard to see. So we could go something like that. We're still in an A, but we used up 25% of our ink. I managed to do, do a design like that that used up 78% or 22% rather. So that's better. That one's still just tough. Okay, and this one, he's obviously going to tip and fall. But in theory, if you pointed the water that way really hard and then around this way, you could probably actually loop it around back into him. Okay, that didn't really work how I expected. So bring him around like that. And oh, actually that worked out in a different way. Great. But one star obviously isn't good enough for me. So we'll do this the proper way and give him a landing zone. Which I just completely guessed at and that's fine. 89%. Not really sure what the challenge here. Ah, I get it. So the liquid goes to both sides and it only comes back. Okay, we did it anyway. 98%. This one seems a little bit more challenging because he has to balance on a little ball. Could I just create from a little wedge? Nope, not at all. Well, really, we could just draw a line that's big enough to hopefully support him. And there we go. We only use 9% of our ink and it's really, really just that easy. And I keep collecting a lot of these coins. I have, in fact, 205 of them. I don't know what to do with them. It's a game about drawing liquid into a cup so i'm sure the prizes are just wonderful all right he wedges himself right into that little gap so there it's it's just that easy eight percent eight percent that's all it took a simple little line that's what like 80 percent of these levels are just a flat line that he lands on this one looks like he could have some fun to it so he naturally falls to the right so let's help him drink to the right there we go, you're gonna get full. You're lying on your side. 63%, that's obviously not good enough, but still kind of funny. So to do this with three stars, probably just something like that. Yep, there we go. 83%, not great, not terrible. I just saw also I had like 61 of 2200 stars, so maybe there's more levels than I thought. I'm pretty sure in this one, we just don't want him to have the balls in him. But the balls are kind of buoyant, so they might actually pop in out of there just due to the liquid. Okay, well, let's see if I can figure this one out. I don't know, 94%. So it gives me the same level, but five balls this time instead. Am I a dog? I don't understand why. Okay, we'll just draw the line down. 85% and we're good enough. So on this one, I'm pretty sure the ball rolls down and stops enough of the liquid getting in. It also makes a mess of him. Pretty sure that the ball would bounce right over, which is a little coaxing. Or maybe not, because the liquid also moves that. I wonder if I can just draw a line that makes the ball fall the wrong way. No, but that actually stopped the ball for long enough that I think I won. So, happy accident. Okay, so this one, there's loose balls roaming around and they basically just not need to be in his face. So here's the game plan. We're basically going to go like that. And that's probably going to work out really, really well. There we go. The ball's got nowhere and he got full of yellow goo the way he likes it. This time we've got competing balls. So let's see how they act before getting carried away with the game plan. Basically, I just need them not to touch super much. I wonder if I can make like a catapult. Would that work? Yeah, actually it did, <laughs> which is unexpected, but I'll take it. And that earned me ever more coins that I still don't know what to do with. I now understand they're used for a different face in the glass and a different pencil. So this one, we basically just need the uh, liquid to go, I don't know, that far. I took a complete guess, didn't think that was how that was going to work, but it worked out anyway. We know of orange goo. And how does the liquid behave here? Uh, it obviously naturally travels both directions, some of which gets into the cup, some does not. I mean, there's like a little lip here on the pipe. We might be able to utilize that. We might not. That didn't work out. This one kind of did, but it also <laughs> kind of didn't at the same time. Now we just have a cup of goo up there. Sometimes you just kind of got to play by the game's rules. All we needed was a simple triangle that still took up 11% of our ink, but we got like close to 100% inside. Ooh, this one looks fun. So the liquid goes back and forth, back and forth, and doesn't really make it into as much as it should. Pretty sure this kind of streamlining the flow would probably about do it. At least get enough of it in there. Some of it does escape to the right, but the majority of it is going straight down. So close. I blame my unstreamlined line. There was a bit of a lump there that was letting the liquid kind of bounce too roughly. This might also be bad. Too much of the liquid is going to the right. I mean, you could obviously do something like this that would work. It uses up a lot of your uh, <laughs> ink, but it absolutely works. Oh, wait, no, it doesn't. He's not full enough. In the end, the solution, yeah, is just as simple as that. You only had to close that gap and everyone was happy. I'm starting to like these levels because they're actually posing a little bit of a challenge. Luckily, we have pressure on our side here. I'm pretty sure the pressure on the right side is basically unlimited. So no matter what, the water is going to flow over the top. So you could probably do something like that. And most of that water will eventually make it over the top because the pressure is just too much and it will overcome all that. I didn't expect the line to move, but you get the point. That still worked. He's so sad all the time. It just breaks my heart. 
Something like that will probably work. All we need to do is just change the directional flow. So now we just bounce it back that way and the triangle is very structural. Okay, and this one, it's obviously going to bounce the wrong direction in a big way, but a lot of it's still going to get in. So again, I think it's just a matter of putting a triangle like anywhere really. It's just going to divert a little bit of the flow back the other way. That was overkill. We only used 8%. Uh, I feel like this is the same way, but there's like so little that we need to change that we did it with 1% of our ink. Uh, and this one, I'm pretty sure the cup is unsupported, so he just mercilessly falls to his death. Pretty sure we just kind of need to wedge something there and somewhat like that. All right, well, it's not the prettiest solution. I was just trying to wedge something in there and wedge something in there. I did. This time the water flows back and forth, and I think all we need is a triangle. I don't know if it matters if you do that after the fact, but <laughs> there you go. We did it real time. Ooh, I'm starting to like these levels. They're actually getting a little bit challenging, because obviously he falls and he's not falling right in a center of that. I need like one of those drawing pencil things that would actually make this a lot easier. But basically I just need to set him on a little cap like that. And we only got lost two drops. Ooh, this looks different because now he's got an orange cap sitting on top of him that we've got to move. But I'm kind of wondering if we just put a bit of weight on one side, it'll just flip out of the way. We use too much ink. So let's just try a little bit. Yeah, it doesn't need much weight at all. The orange is very light stuff. All right, what are we dealing with here? The water goes down and obviously gets caught there. Some of it will go through, some of it will make it in. Pretty sure this it won't take much to have this right, uh, even that might work. We're just getting a little more over the barrier and into him. Then again, it would work a little better if it was just more free flowing. Yeah, that'll go. That might go over him. Nope, that's working out real well. He's very happy now. I feel like those two are both going to fall. Anything orange is a little terror, so we need to watch out for orange. But uh, one like this, we could probably get away with going like that. Nope. I was just screwing with something and that happened to actually just work. I just kind of made everything fall slightly to the right and it took the ball with it. So that might be a strategy for a while. Basically we make that tilt to the left, I could see what was happening and he's all filled up. Ah, uh, he's afraid of the balls. You might be able to move them but then obviously the sticks can interfere with him. But I feel like if you made him a nice little landing zone, the balls wouldn't be much of a factor anyway, just like that but we used up too much ink. So I think the best way to do it is actually going to be to move the balls out of the way from that side. That way everything is out of the way and we need something heavier. So physics are a thing. Big heavy, get out of the way. Bigger? That uh, was almost there. Okay, so if you just drop a single line, it doesn't have to be that big. It will spear the balls and move them out of the way. Okay, so on this one, that thing obviously slides in and <laughs> it takes him down with it. Probably actually just go something like that and it's perfectly fine. 83% is not great, but it's really easy to accomplish. We draw a line, the orange thing drops. So I'm pretty sure it's not going to be hard to get that thing out of the way and have the cup happily full again. Looks like the water's going to hit the orange thing and actually not do much of anything. So I'm thinking something a little a bit like that that way it's gonna knock that over and hopefully you get enough of the orange fluid into them no but it's close okay so i'm thinking something a little bit like that to just knock that over and then that little wedge is actually gonna drive just enough orange juice into the cup this one looks like it could be a fun challenge because as soon as you start the cup leaves and so does everything else i mean in theory you could just do a big line like that that would wedge itself on there but we used up 79 percent which I guess is still a three star, so I'm good enough. This one I can already see. We need to go like that, obviously, and then the orange liquid goes the right way along the orange plank. This one looks like it might have some moving parts, so that's kind of interesting. Maybe we can sort of just stop them from moving somehow. Kind of like that by creating a brace, then the liquid goes too far. Maybe if I just let the liquid go basically straight down, then just a little bit more to the right. Okay, well, the answer to this is probably very simple. This is a triangle. There's enough of the liquid that goes that way. It'll hit the triangle and go back. We only lost a drop to the left. This one, the liquid obviously goes all sorts of places not supposed to but as long as it touches the orange crosses it's going in the cup so might be able to get away with something like that yep that's just enough to balance it out and off we go 75 percent but that's still three stars this one could be a bit of a puzzle because that stuff's going to go wherever it wants to go unless i just go like that and then it'll probably just flow straight into the cup really well it kind of made a mess of things but you get the idea actually can i just set this like up here that might actually work we went over the cup, but that's going to work very well. Okay, decided to go back down to the lower one because it just works really, really well because you can brace everything against the cup. This one's just a lone orange cross. That means that stuff's going to go pretty much wherever it wants to. But I'm pretty sure we can just ignore the cross altogether. If we get a line around the top that can hang on there, then the orange goo can only go one way. And it's slowly going to dribble in until that cup is happy. These definitely are getting harder and harder. This one, I think, will just kind of balance itself. The liquids will go either way and nothing's going to get out of whack and everyone's going to be happy. Two moving parts. Oh, and two sources of liquid. Uh, we basically almost just won and I didn't do anything. So can we just like put something there and that might actually make the difference? I was hoping it would slide right over the top. I mean, I guess we can just go like that because then it's just going to fill the cups. 
just before the orange thing closes and now he's sealed off. All right, on this one, that would work, but the orange ball gets in the way. Obviously, we don't want the orange ball. Can I just create like a wedge right there? Is that going to work? <laughs> he's going to get enough liquid. All I had to do is stop the ball. And this one, kind of the same thing. There's an orange ball that gets in the way. If it wasn't for that, easy. So let's get the orange ball out of the way. That didn't quite work, but it's got to be something about that simple. There we go. And now the line's in the way. Fine. You want to play hardball? We'll play hardball. There we go. And the ball takes a line with it and we're good. So now we got multiple orange crosses so the liquid can go just about anywhere. But even naturally, it gets three quarters of the way full. So you could probably really just kind of go like that. This to stop some of the liquid from going that way. Yeah, uh, yeah, that still worked. And this one, the liquid's going to go straight down. It naturally curves to the left. So we need to make it go to the right. I wonder if we could make like a jump out of this one. Yeah, well, you get the idea. That's still actually probably going to work, even though I was trying something stupid. Uh, this might actually just work. I don't know if the liquid can squeeze through that gap. Nope, okay, I see what happens. Everything falls in, obviously. There's actually an easy way to do this. It would use a lot of my line, but I could go like that and it would pull them apart. Oh, that was still three stars, actually. Great. Not sure what to expect on this one. Okay, that slowly rotates. It's just sort of hanging there. So all you need to do is have something to stop it from uh, swinging too far. If I could draw a proper line, it would stay there, but you get the idea. It's, well, even that. That would probably work. Uh, it's bouncing orange liquid maybe too far. Then again, it's probably another one of those that you could just kind of go like that. Mm, kind of works, and I think we still got enough. Yep. 171 of the 2160 stars to go. Can this one just play itself? It almost can. If you had that just a little tighter, it would slide through that gap. Which makes me think if I go like that, yep, it'll get right out of the way, and then we're good to go. We only use 3% of our ink. Ooh, this is fun. It's just a ball and a cup. So this one, you basically make it teeter-totter. You got to try and make that balance, which is a little bit hard to do. But if I actually pay attention to the squares, I could probably do it. Oh, I might have it. It's close. He's happy and he's dead. Perfect. All it took was a little balancing. So this, ah, I see. They roll off the earth. So I might even be able to just give them a little bit of a platform to stand on. I could obviously go like that. Maybe they'd balance. Oh, that actually kind of works. At least for one of the cups. If you get them both to balance, you win. It's that easy. 84%, we're done. Now we got to get the liquid all the way over to him. That goes over the wall. So I think if we just go like that and maybe use this for some support as well, <laughs> it's probably that easy. Uh, three stars still, just barely. This one's got a triangle that wants to come and play, but I could probably just put something in the way to stop it from getting there. I think I can actually draw in the little gap here. So I could actually just hold the triangle there. Stop it from sliding at all. So on this one, we got to move two orange blocks. That's it. So all we got to do for that, I'm pretty sure, is just make them go like that. And then they're out of the way. This one, we got to balance on some balls, but it's actually kind of already there. I think if we just draw like a fairly even line, it will just land on it and it's that easy. Great. Mission accomplished.